Hey guys, Magnus, Robert, that's the one, um, bringing you some more Game of Thrones uh, walkthrough. So I've actually decided to do the, the next part on uh, the old controller, um, just because I had a bit of problem with, I have problems with using a keyboard, you know, I'm not the best at it. <laughs> so, I, I mean, just any game I can use a controller with, really, I'm going to do, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to use a controller, I guess. Um... So, uh, like what were we last left off? I can't even remember. Um, I did quite a cool. I recorded it. I record. I I uploaded it yesterday, but I recorded it when it came out. So, you know. Oh, the wall. Oh, okay. Jared. Jared is it Jared? That's Jared. Jared. I don't know. The squire. The first guy you play as. Oh. Oh. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Oh. Elevator. It's handy. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruit at the gate. I am a recruit. Their swords don't even make noises. Alright. Oh, now they're, they're starting to make noises. Hello! Rival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Okay. That hurt the old shoulder, right? Okay. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Hmm. Because you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We uh don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. He'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Oh. Sorry? Just to make sure, I am still playing this on um, P uh, PC. I'm just using the controller because it honestly looks like I'm playing it on Xbox. And I'm actually not. Um, I guess you really won't be able to tell. <laughs> But this is actually on PC. Oh, yeah, hundred percent sure. I'm looking at a, a PC right now. <laughs> <clears throat> you recruits, you come, you train, you fight, you die. Sorry. Who are you, boy? I want to be a rude cunt. I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle. Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. No. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. Ooh. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. Sorry, I don't think you do. You are a killer. Oh. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. You don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then, See, what we'll you start got... your training in the morning. You gotta be tough to this guy. You need a cot and a cloak. Sorry? I don't want one of that. Understood. Understood, okay, right. Just gonna take that, are we? Oh, and Tuttle. 
the Sooner mountain. or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Oh. He's a bit rude, to be fair. Not so happy with him. Ooh. Everyone's a bit rude in Game of Thrones, to be fair. There's no, Last there's no nice heard, people. Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for. They give us month-old bread. There's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. Whitehill soldiers than always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be <sighs> wine in the cellars. Degore's locked him up tight. Look at that guy. Just like Hello. his old cunt. Way. No oh god. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? Oh, don't be, you be bullying me. He's hideous. Ah, sorry. He's had a run in with Walder Frey, didn't he? And he's you? leaning on a girl. I should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real first. shame about your leg, man. Oh, who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. Why are not Jamie and Cersei here? We're just a normal siblings. Some normal siblings? Yeah. We have business yeah. in the Great Hall. Oh god, that that doesn't sound too yeah. good. Go round. You don't want to test me. Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. So this is probably going to be an option here. Just turn, around, just, just walk, walk around, or, or I face wonder off. what's weaker, your legs, or this house. Oh, move now! I told him. She was pretty angry too. Go on then, my lord. Ooh. Not looking too good, is it? Um <sighs> Let's go. I still have to actually walk, can't I? It's a cutscene. You can never tell in these telltale games. It's madness. You can't starve I them will out. not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolish. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick, my boy. Now nah, I'm a man. <laughs> Come join us. Mm, maybe not. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. Good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Oh. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole... Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted! He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage! And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! I am your right. lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The Whitehills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves. 
when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Ooh. Not anymore. <laughs> Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. Oh, We've God. heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Alcis Helliver, Grayson sure and Brown Barrow yeah. were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting their stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Give them wine. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Oh, no. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Okay, another little part done. I think we'll do this part as well, yeah. It's entirely yeah. ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. We will make a sizable donation in the name of King Joffrey. A little presumptuous of you, Mira, but I like it. They'll be very grateful. Okay. And the seal. Here you are. Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I like what's happening here. So the, the Joffrey's wedding is I just have about a to begin. For Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. <clears throat> It's a slave boy. Ooh. What is it, Mira? 
It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. All right. Mira, we'll talk more later. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, we can talk, sure. Talk. I don't know if she annoys me or if I like her character. I'm not actually too sure. <laughs> Same with the TV show, to be honest. It's like, she's all right, but there again, she can kind of be annoying. <laughs> Marjorie, that is... Okay, so we've got to write this letter. Do we if actually have Lady to? Marjorie wrote a letter. Oh, oh, oh. See, if we forge... No, I don't want to forge... I don't want to betray her. Because she's been kind so far. So I'm just going to finish the letter to... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, not forging Roger. it. I'm not forging anything. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? <laughs> I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. This might be the last little mind. scene we do, by the way, guys. What, what about? about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with those? I've got them. Do I need any help with, like, five letters? Jesus Christ. Oh, she looks weak. Ooh, um... Yeah, we'll do this part as well, guys. Don't worry, we'll do this part as well. To keep getting cold. Shouldn't be longer than five minutes, I don't think. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead. Sorry? You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. Oh. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch. Listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend At the At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lady. He tried to stick me with this. For over 300 miles from the frost fangs of the west the I stuck it in him instead. So next time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut sure, up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes, sir. Fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. <laughs> Don't call me that. My Sticks his dick in potatoes. <laughs> the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? It was him. Total. Who was it? Oh, not me. It was my fault. These men are arguing. Yeah. These two were arguing. 
Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. Oh. Oh god. Sorry about that, guys. An ad popped Jared up. Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. Just going to quickly check if it's still recording. Apologize for that. Just needed to check, you know. He wants. Doesn't mean shit. So today you're all going to show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... Frostfinger. I need a word. Ash John Snow. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Here we go. Again. Who's up? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. I don't like him. Don't think he likes me either, to be fair. Ooh. Ooh, Castle Black. Ooh. Um. What do I have to look at that? <sighs> Castle Black. So this is home now. I reckon I want to do some of this. You're doing that all wrong. Well, we don't have these. We're like. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Apologize for the messages. As you can see, my stick doesn't understand that I'm playing Game of Thrones. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Center of the chest. Oh, this is cool. Center of the chest. It's pretty you good. can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Good. Right target. Chest. Chest, chest, chest. Not bad. Center. Between the eyes. Between the eyes? Are you having a laugh? These aren't even eyes. I guess that would be where his eyes were. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Oh, he's kind. There's an actual kind guy in Game of Thrones. Jon Snow's looking at me quite well. Jon Snow. Ah, oh, we gotta be nice. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Whoa! Swiped it right off him. He's don't a good tell, alright? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I won't tell anyone. I knew I could trust you. <laughs> Shot himself in the bloody foot, the idiots. Right. Ooh, better not walk in front of the crossbow. I wonder if that would actually be. Oh, pet the horse. Stroke the horse and pet the horse. Right. No, it doesn't like me. Alright, okay. Feeling this mutual. Hmm. Oh, I could use the stairs or I could lift the barrels. Oh, okay. I can lift you the barrels. You bet. Recruit. Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the winch. I can do that. What's in it? Good. It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. I'm good at tapping A. Oh, okay, it's one of these ones. 
<laughs> Gotta do the noises. Oh, he's just a he's just a show off. Right, um okay. Yeah, oh god, this, it sounds like he's giving bloody birth. What am I taking them to? I guess I'll just keep the arrow. Excuse me, I'm giving birth. Oh, you gotta do the A. A. Don't hurt yourself, Tucker. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing isn't frozen off. Not bad. Fuck off, Finn. Oh. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrid. Stop looking at me like that. You're creepy man. Right. Right, I've been playing this for quite a while now, so I hope. We'll do the sword test. I hope the sword one's the last one. Oh, we'll be looking at logs. Yeah, we can. There we go. Take that! Take that! Oh, horse. Your bloody top. You grab a practice sword. Oh, can we pick? Ooh. I don't know what the red one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Who are you? Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. Right, okay. I've got me. Hey! Oh! Oh! I'm gonna press an eight. Oh. Come on, keep at it. Oh yes, it's, it's easier to press. Well four. <laughs> Better than you, that's why. Get off me, you bloody ox! You got lucky. Oh, do I have to go against him now? Boss fight. <laughs> okay, good. All right. This part's going a bit over. I should have uh, stopped at the Marjorie a bit. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. I'm just not saying anything. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Got it! Do something! Oh, okay, now I'm gonna go for the Fucking bunch. warned you! Ah! Oh, what the. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. I won't. Ah, fuck! Oh, ah. oh, no, no, no. Can't have that. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Oh, yes! Oh, God. Okay, what's this one? I can't get on him. God. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife! No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. I need another man atop the wall. 
Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Mind your fucking manners. <laughs> you taught him a lesson. You, come with me. Oh yes, we're gonna talk to Jon Snow. Right, hopefully this will be the sort of loading screen bit. No, oh, maybe, possibly. Okay, so that's the end of this guard, this part, guys. It definitely went a, uh, oh, a bit over than I expected it to go. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next part, which will be tomorrow, hopefully. Goodbye.